Hey everybody, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. Now, I thought this was a pretty interesting article that I read. Um, the Seattle Kraken tweeted a picture of TJ Oshie. And um, in this article, it really didn't mention TJ Oshie's name. They did mention something about USA Hockey, so I could see that there can be a, an, uh, a connection there. But it was kind of interesting. And will they start doing this to other NHL teams? Start, you know, doing stuff where they mention certain players they may want to target in the expansion draft? So that's why I wanted to do this video on. Um, with TJ Oshie, I hope the Washington Capitals can keep him around. But, you know, a lot of teams are going to start to struggle with who are they going to protect? Who are they going to leave exposed? So TJ Oshie, based on dollars and age, may be one of those players. So I'll get into that in a little bit. I just want to uh, mention what the Seattle Kraken, whoever handles their... Their Twitter account, they tweeted a photo of T.G. Oshie, and the tweet said they tweeted, though the start date for the new NHL season is still uncertain, um, many prospects and one 22 season veteran are keeping in-game shape in Europe, plus U.S.-born NHL players are on the rise. So that's where I think the whole connection was with T.G. Oshie. But I found it very interesting that next to the picture of T.G. Oshie, it said weekly warm-up in the Seattle colors. So, um... Could they be dropping a hint to, um, you know, the Washington Capitals that we're targeting that man right there? So, um, very interesting to think about. You know, um, if he's not protected, Oshie turns 34 in uh, late December and is in the fourth year of an eight-year, $46 million deal. Um, I know with him, again, a consistent 25-plus goal scorer. He's a great player, a great veteran. And um, a lot of fans in Washington love this guy. They want to keep him around. But, um, you know, age and dollar amount may, may be a targeting factor in what happens going into the expansion draft. Um, you know, he's also a cup winner, so they can, uh, Seattle may see that, they value that as well. A lot of teams want cup winners in their system to teach young kids, teach everybody in their locker room what it takes to win. So, um, you know, TJ Oshie is well-loved around the league, well-liked. Well liked and loved within the Washington Capitals organization with fans, so it's it's very it's gonna be very interesting to see how this uh this comes about. Um, you know they picked this face to promote a blog post, and his uh, name was never mentioned in the article. But the USA is the connection. I'm guessing now talking about the Washington Capitals, they have no cap space. They have very very interesting uh, decisions to make on what they're gonna do with Ovechkin. He's a UFA at year's end. Um, there was rumors going around a little while ago that he was looking up to 12 million a year. I've done a video on that. I'll link it at the end. So that's going to be very interesting to see what happens with that. Um, you have the whole, uh, uh Verona situation where he's going to need a new deal. Samsonov's going to need a new deal. So these players are going to get paid a nice dollar amount in their next deal. So there is a lot of question marks with what, um, Washington can do going into the expansion draft, who they can protect. You know, I've seen other articles mention Haglin as a player that they could leave exposed, Hathaway, Jensen. So th there is some names that they can work around and expose that way. Maybe adding a draft pick. We've seen it all happen with um, how um, the, the Vegas Golden Knights handled it very well. And they've really set themselves up for the future, acquiring players for the now. Uh, you know, prospects, great draft picks just to not take this sort of player. So we're going to see that again. And... Um, you know, with GM Ron Francis, he's a very smart man. He's been through the, he's been through everything in the NHL. So I'm sure they they took account of what happened with the Knights, and they will try to step it up and do much better. So um, if if that's a possibility, I don't know, but um, it's just going to be very interesting to see the draft. Um, I I thought it was a fun time, even though I could understand the, the anxiety with all NHL, you know, all all NHL fan bases, NHL teams with who they're going to have to leave exposed. I know that's an anxious time. You know, your team's going to lose something. So you're hoping that it's not their best player. So um curious to see what happens to this. I know the expansion draft is a fun time, but it's very nerve wracking for a lot of uh, fans and uh, team bases to see what's going to happen. So, um, you know, I'm curious to see who the crack can take from each and every team. And I'm sure as we get closer to that time, I will do more videos about it. As you know, you hear more confirmations of who will be protected, who will be exposed. I will do more videos about that leading up to that time. So I just thought this to be very interesting because TJ Oshie is a great name. He's a great player, a great goal scorer, a great all-around player, a great two-way player that can help out on both ends of the ice. So he can be a very valuable asset to the Kraken 
but I know a lot of Washington Capitals fans want to keep TJ Oshie in, um, in Washington playing for them. So it's going to be interesting how this plays out. I'm interested. I, I When I saw this, I'm like, wow, that's that's gutsy for them to start doing this. If they're going to start doing this with all NHL teams, watch out. So comment below what you think about this. I know I'm going to get a lot of Washington F Capitals fans saying keep him here, which I totally agree. I think they should definitely hold on to TJ Oshie, but... Curious to see with the whole age being 34 and, you know, him still having that term left on his deal, what may happen. So comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. And if you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy.